There's a new way of eating, cooking all across the nation. It's an appetizing treat. It's called fast food fornication. You'll find Wendy's hot and juicy when you put her with your Whopper. And she's finger licking good when you pile it all on top her with your Big Mac in your hand. You just spread them sesame buns, but you better hold your pickle till that special sauce comes. We do it all to you. I don't know about you, but... I like food, and pregnancy brings on some challenges when it comes to food, especially during the first trimester when you're really feeling uh, quite nauseous. Um, something to help with that is saltine crackers. Um, those, a little bit of ginger ale, um, those kind of things really can help uh, put your nausea a little bit at ease. but. Nausea is not the only challenge as far as food and pregnancy. Uh, there's a lot of foods that when you're pregnant, you're not supposed to eat. Um, more so than you would think, actually. Um, and there's reasons behind that. I mean, some obvious ones would be like alcohol. Obviously, you're not supposed to drink. You can cause fetal alcohol syndrome and things like that in your baby. Um, and you don't want that. Uh, another thing to avoid is, you know, excess caffeine. You are allowed to have a little bit. Um, you got to take it easy on soda and coffee and, and teas and such. Um, as far as teas and that go, uh, herbal teas are questionable as far as whether you should drink them. Uh, if you do want tea, your best choice is to stick with like a decaffeinated tea and only really drink like one cup. Uh, but a cup of tea can also help um, settle your stomach as well. Plus it helps you get the fluids you need because you're actually supposed to drink at minimum, eight glasses of water, um, preferably up to about 16 uh, every day. So that's a ton of water. And I know for me, that's a challenge because I don't drink very much, so I'm like permanently dehydrated. Um, but anyway, as far as foods to uh, steer clear of, you need to watch out for a thing called listeria. Um, and that can be found in things like hot dogs, lunch meats, unpasteurized dairy foods, and soft cheeses. So if you are eating dairy foods, you want to make sure that they are pasteurized and that the cheeses are pasteurized. If they are not, you shouldn't eat them. So things like blue cheese, steer clear of it, had some mold in it, you know. Um, yeah, you shouldn't eat those. Any of the hard Mexican cheeses, um, those kind of things, you uh, got to steer clear of. Um, anyway, with lunch meats, aside from the sodium that is in lunch meats, um, again, listeria can be found. So, if you really are dying for a lunch meat sandwich, um, you can have lunch meat, but only if it's heated to steaming. Now, personally, that's kind of a pain for me, and I just steer clear of it altogether. Um, plus, it does have nitrates and stuff in it, which aren't good for you either. Um, but, like I said, really watch the lunch meat. Don't eat uh, regular deli meat uh, while you are pregnant. Also, hot dogs, those kind of things. Um, any processed meats like that, uh, you should steer clear of during pregnancy. Um, limit your intake of things like bacon as well, again, for the nitrates and the sodium. Um, something that is still questionable is canned goods. Um, some sites say that BPA can be found in cans and hard plastics, which can cause birth defects. Um, I don't know about you, but I think pretty much every pregnant lady has had a can of something, whether it be soup or, you know, SpaghettiOs. But uh, I'll say I have had some canned goods. I try to not eat too many of them. Um, hopefully it'll help. But uh, your best choice is to make fresh things. So if you want soup, um, which soup is a great idea, especially, you know, because it can have all sorts of vegetables and stuff in it for you. And it has fluid. So if you're having a hard time drinking a lot of water, uh, soups are really a good uh, source of that fluid as well. Um, but anyway, you're, you're best to uh, make the homemade stuff um, and use like fresh or frozen vegetables as opposed to um, doing the canned stuff. But anyway, um, you also have to watch out for 
any undercooked meat. So if you like your steak, uh, you know, rare or medium rare, while you're pregnant, it's best to go ahead and get it well done uh, just for safety. Uh, you don't want to get any sort of bacteria or anything um, inside of you because it is harmful to the baby. And you got to remember the baby doesn't have all the immunities that you have quite yet and it, it hasn't built up the tolerance to, to things that uh, we normally uh, kind of get over. Um, another thing is fish. Um, there are a lot of fish that you need to steer clear of or fish that you should only eat once in a while. Um, anything high in mercury such as shark or swordfish, those kind of things, you should not eat at all while pregnant. Just steer clear of it. Um, you have to be careful with things like ahi tuna. Um, that's something you could should only eat like once every two weeks, if any. And the portion size should be like no more than six ounces total. Um, other things you can eat maybe like once a week if you're into to fish um, would be like canned tuna, halibut, grouper, pollock, those kind of things. Um, but again, only about once a week and only six ounces uh, because they do have mercury in them and it builds up in your system and it's not good for you or the baby. Uh, seafood that you can generally eat quite frequently would be things like salmon, um, shrimp you can generally eat uh, a little bit more frequently, but again, watch the, the mercury intake. But those are tend to be uh, lower mercury. Um, and any fish that's small enough to kind of fit into a frying pan should be pretty low in mercury, so you should be okay there. Um, but again, you only want about six ounces. And uh, yeah, pretty much only like once a week. Um, fish is good for you, you should probably eat it. I've never been a seafood fan myself, so I, I don't really eat a lot of seafood. Um, but I know there are people who, who love uh, fish in that. Another thing you need to watch out for is uh, a thing called toxoplasmosis. Now that ranks right up there with listeria. It's, it's something you definitely don't want to get, and where you find it mostly is on things like unwashed vegetables. Um, your best bet is to get fresh vegetables and wash them yourself. Um, you should steer clear of the bagged lettuces and, and things like that, bagged spinach. Um, sometimes they do have the toxoplasmosis and there are some sites that say that the bagged lettuce and stuff also has um, like a type of bleach and stuff put into it to make it stay fresher and to make it look better and I don't know all of the validity to that but uh, you should steer clear of that, steer clear of any salad bars, um, any delis, those kind of foods um, can have bacteria, can have cross can have cross contamination, can have all kinds of, of things like listeria. Um, you should steer clear of any of those pre-made, pre-packaged kind of foods. Um, like I said, it's best to, to do everything homemade uh, while you're pregnant. It's better for you and the baby. Um, you want to make sure that if you have leftovers that they are put away um, within two hours. Anything left out for over two hours you shouldn't eat. So let's say, you, you know, you made something and then you left the house for a while and you forgot about it. Came back a couple hours later uh, you probably shouldn't save it and keep it. Uh, bacteria builds up and it's just not worth it. Um, again, steer clear of the salad bars, prepackaged bellies, prepackaged veggies, <laughs> and uh, you know, the deli stuff. But you should eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Um, just make sure that you wash them thoroughly. Even the stuff like cantaloupe and stuff like that that has the harder shell, make sure you wash it on the outside first because when you cut through, uh, your knife will go through that skin and then can pass any sort of uh, bacteria that's on it in through into the fruit. Um, and along those lines with the fruit, um, it's best to cut it yourself as opposed to getting pre-cut. You don't know, you know, even if uh, rules are in place as far as what uh, a company should do as far as cleaning fruit and vegetables um, before they cut them. You don't know if they're actually following it. I used to be a manager at a McDonald's when I was going to college and there were always kids who didn't follow the rules when preparing food. So 
really had to stay on top of that. So it's like that everywhere. There are people who want to take shortcuts, um, who just don't think about it, or just don't know any better. So you know, it's best to, to cut those things yourself and you know, not put your health or the baby's health in someone else's hands. Um, another thing that uh, mothers tend to think is, oh, well, I have a baby, so I'm eating for two. Well, that would be great, especially for me, because I love food. But you're actually only supposed to eat an extra 300 calories per day. So whatever you're eating before, 300 calories per day on top of that. And that's enough to help feed you and the baby. You're only supposed to gain about 25 to 30 pounds altogether. Um, that'll include fluid weight and you know the baby and everything else. So you don't want to go nuts eating tons and tons of food, which, like I said, during the first trimester, you're probably not going to have any problem with because you're going to probably be sick and not want to eat anyway. But that having been said, make sure you do eat, and actually eating a lot of times will help kind of tone down the nausea a little bit. Like I said, even if it's just a couple crackers or a piece of toast or something, um, you know, you're better off sticking to whole grain things as opposed to, you know, like white breads and, and stuff like that. Um, anyway, that's kind of a rundown of, of things you should and shouldn't eat. Uh, as far as fast food, you should kind of steer clear of it as much as possible. A lot of fast food has tons of sodium. It also, you know, you just don't know, like I said before, how they're taking care of the product. You would like to think that they're following all the health rules, but not everybody does. So again, better safe than sorry. Um, frozen foods. Most frozen foods have a lot of salt in them. You want to watch out because you can get, you know, higher blood pressure with too much sodium. Um, it's just not good for you or the baby, and it can cause health risks to you. Um, if you do have to go the frozen route, um, I've found that the healthy choice meals seem to be the lowest in sodium, and they taste pretty good. So, uh, healthy choice and and those maybe even the smart ones are are the way to go. You know, don't get the regular frozen dinners because it's just too salty. I know my husband got a pot pie the other day, and it had over a thousand milligrams of sodium. That's way too much salt. I mean, you're only supposed to have about 1,500 for the entire day. That was a thousand in one little pot pie. It's way too much. But anyway, if you have any questions or you think there was something that I missed, you know, let me know. I said fresh fruits and veggies. Eat your meat so that you can get your iron and that too. Um, as far as cravings, you probably will have some. Usually it's your body's way of telling you that there's something you're lacking. Maybe you'll crave steak because you need some iron. Um, you know, whatever the case may be. So go ahead and follow the cravings. Don't go nuts. Don't eat a lot of sugary things or sweets. Try to cut back on them as much as possible. You don't want to get any uh, sort of diabetes while you're pregnant either. Um, anyway, those are kind of the, the do's and don'ts of eating and what to eat, what not to eat while you're pregnant. So, if I said any questions, leave a comment below and I will try to answer them. Again, I'm not a doctor, I've just done a lot of research and uh, so we'll go from there. If there's anything else I think of later, I'll make sure to mention it. Anyway, thanks for listening and have a good day. There's a new way of eating Cooking all across the nation, it's an appetizing treat.